Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are doing a get ready with me Zoom edition. So basically, a lot of people have been met unemployed or redundant in the last couple of weeks, months even, and hopefully now with restrictions starting to lift, people are able to get back to work and get on a bit with their lives. So with that, I'm presuming there's going to be a lot of Zoom meetings and Zoom interviews and stuff like that. So I thought, why not do just a look that can be worn on a Zoom interview style so scenario? Not too much but yet still enough that you'll feel good and hopefully have the confidence to ace that interview. Um, so yeah, if that's the kind of thing you're after, stay tuned to find out. But before we get into all of that, I'm gonna leave my handles here for my Instagram and my Facebook page so you can follow me there as well. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. See you in a sec. Basically, I have just started my makeup. I have my base on. What I have used so far on my face is I've used my Bobbi Brown, Bobby, bleh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched um, Moisturizer face base. So it's like a moisturizer and a primer in one. And it's so, so good on my skin. Oh my God, my skin was dehydrated this morning. So I was like, I need the good stuff. Um, so I've used that as my primer. Then I've gone in with this Revolution Conceal and Defined in shade 6.5, I think it is. Yeah, 6.5 um, foundation, just because it's not a matte finish one. Now I have put a little bit of powder just to matte it down a little bit because I want it to last, but I just feel my skin is really dry today. So yeah, I'm loving this one. 6.5 Mr. Revolution. So I haven't done any concealer because this is a Conceal and Define, so it's obviously meant to Conceal as well, so there's no point in me layering up on products that I don't need. So I've just put a bit of my, I think it's my MAC one, yeah, MAC NC20 um, Studio Fix Powder. Just keeping it really simple. And now I'm just going to go in and do my um, eye base. And today's eye base I'm going to use is from Maybelline, yeah, Colour Tattoo. I had the e.l.f. one, and honestly, this is the Colour Tattoo, what is it? Yeah, Maybelline Colour Tattoo. I think it's Creme de Nude. Yeah, creme de nude. Before this, I have been using my, um, what do you call it? The e.l.f. one, but my god, that one is hard to work with. It's the new e.l.f. putty one. Not loving it, I have to say. Not loving it at all. I'm just gonna go in now and do some contouring and bronzer. So what am I using for that now? Let me see, what did I put out? Oh yeah. So I have my, um, I'm not gonna do any bronzer, will I? Oh, sure, if I could have it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing first before we do a contour. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Press Powder in, what shade is this? Oh, golden tan. So just to I like this one better. I think this is actually, a, is this a foundation powder? I think it's just an all over face powder. But I'm just gonna use it just to warm up my face a little bit before I use my bronze, my actual um, contour one. Now you don't have to do the contouring step. This is totally optional. I just like to do it because my face, as you can see, is quite pale. So I have no tan on, so I'm just really, really pale. Okay, so now we're gonna do some blush. And the blush I'm using today is the Wet n Wild Iconic, Color Icon Blush. So the blusher I'm gonna use is this one from Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. Just keeping all the makeup today pretty cheap and cheerful. I got this new brush from Morphe. 427, I don't want to see what it looks like today. Surely. Always try and keep your blusher quite high. And always bring it back because it'll just make your face look more youthful. We're all about the youthful. Now I'm going to use some highlighter and I'm using again the Wet n Wild one in Precious Petals. Precious Petals. And again, really subtly. That's why I like this one because unless I activate it with um, like Fix Plus or something, I don't get a huge amount of payoff, which is fine because you're on a Zoom meeting and we don't want to be overkilling the makeup. Okay, now we're going to start into the brows. And what I'm using today is my um, Tame and Frame by NYX. 
and I'm using my Royal Langnickel brush. So it has the spoolie on one end and then the thing on the other. Yeah, so brush these up. So when I'm using this product, I just literally dip my little brush into it and put it face down onto whatever surface you're working on and then get this, the lid of the top or whatever you have in your brush, just wipe it out like that so then that is your excess for later so you're not using too much product onto your hair, your like eyebrow follicle. are already quite thick and heavy so I don't need a lot of product in there so what I'm just doing is I'm just kind of reiterating the shape of them so I'm going up high here because I like to have a nice arch my favorite type of brow is more the 1950s 1940s type of brow where it has good structure and um, I do like the natural look on other people not on me um, the natural kind of the more bushier type brows with all the like individual hair growth hair um, hairlines and stuff I like them but it just doesn't suit me I've tried and I just don't have the right brow shape to pull off that like my brows like I don't tread them I treaded them once oh my god the pain um I don't pluck them I literally leave them as they are so my natural shape is as you see it so I'm happy enough with the shape of them so that's them done now we're going to go into our eyeshadows now I have my base on which is my um, Maybelline eye primer thingy they actually market that as an eyeshadow I wouldn't use it as an eyeshadow way too pale now just before we finish the brows I'm going to use this it's a MAC clear um well it's not so clear now brow set um and I really love this one just for giving me that extra lift on my brows just to keep all them finer hairs in place it's one of the best brow sets on the market like I've tried a lot of brow stuff when it comes to like setting gels and this, oops, this one 100% hands down is the best one I've ever used so it is quite expensive I can't remember how much it is but if I know the rest of the makeup here is quite budget but that one is definitely the best clear brow set right I'm gonna do some eyeshadows so today's look as I said we're going for simple glam nothing too strenuous we're doing a zoom meeting remember we have to go for the office look so I have my MAC palette here this is a customizable one that I made myself so all the colors here are ones I like now the colors I'm using today are going to be this one which is let me see soft brown it's gonna be one of our colors today this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills and Brick I have Embark from MAC and I have Floof, 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 floof from MAC as well. So they're my four colours that I'm I'm going to use today. I'm just going to get a little flat top brush like this and I'm going to dip it into floof. So I've just used a floof, which is this one here, all over the eyelids just to kind of set the eye base. And now I'm going to use this one here, it's soft brown. I'm just going to use that in the crease. I'm going to start blending up a little bit. Okay. So you can, you can either do it with a big fluffy brush if you have one, something like this would be perfect. I know this is actually a highlighter brush, so that's what they market it as, but I would use that just to blend upwards, or you can use a brush like this. Which I'll actually brush this fine. And we're just gonna blend that out. And again, just keeping it on the socket of the eye. Don't be pulling it out. We're not doing any fancy wings today. Remember, it's an interview. Now I'm gonna go in with brick which is this ready one here. And we're just gonna go on the crease with that again and that'll just give it a little bit more depth. And again, go back in with your fluffy brush and just diffuse it out. Same brush. I'm going to use Embark, which is this one here. I'm going to do it because this 
this one is very pigmented and we don't want too much fall off and we don't want any like excess darkness. And just place it, tap it into the outer corner of the eye. Now on a little pencil brush, which is one of these, I'm just going to go back into the soft brown, which remember was the second shade, so I like just, just gently just put it underneath your eye. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some mascara. Um, because some people don't like to wear eye eyeliner, so I'm going to do that section after this. So usually I put on my eyeliner first, but for this I'm just going to do the mascara, so at least the eye look will come together properly for those of you who don't actually want to wear um, eyeliner. I'm using the Benefit There Real. So I'm actually putting on lashes of mascara because I don't want to wear lashes today to my Zoom meeting or pretend Zoom meeting. Um, so just layer on the lash, layer on the mascara if you don't want to wear eyelashes. I think sometimes for work meetings and for Zoom calls, lashes are a little bit much. I mean, if it was me personally, yeah, I'd probably do it anyhow because I like lashes, but I don't think it's always appropriate. Before I put on my eyeliner, I'm going to do my lips so my mascara has time to dry down. And what I'm using today is the number, I think it's the number nine, but it could be the number six. Um, these are lipstick pencils, it's the lip crayons is what they're called. Um, pencil lip gloss, but they're more like a lipstick to be fair. They actually have like quite a decent amount of pigmentation. So I'm just gonna put that on. And I'm also going to use my Barry M number no. 5 lip liner. So I know this lipstick doesn't look like much now, but wait till I put it together with this. And that is it. Just a little simple look. Um, I'm not going to do any eyeliner because I think it would be a little bit too much. This look needs to be more neutral, more muted back. Um, as I said, we're on a Zoom yeah. meeting. Oh, are you awake? So as I said, we're on a Zoom meeting, so or a Zoom interview, whatever your Zoom situation is. Um, I think you need to just tone back the makeup a little bit and just have it more natural and, and, and neutral. Um, especially for an interview situation, you don't want to be too garish or overpowering. I'm going to love you and leave you folks and best of luck to anybody who has any future upcoming interviews and I hope you find this helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have used it, if you've used any of my tips and tricks, um, that would be greatly appreciated and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I would love to see you back in my next video again. Thanks so much for watching, love you all, bye! Mwah.